Good morning. Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you all for being here today and for having been with us for three days in this wonderful city that is Salamanca. Before we begin with our conclusions, I would like to especially thank the members of the team that allow us for this conference to uh, be the way that we've enjoyed them. I'm going to read the list of names. Cristina, Alejandra, Esther, Raquel, Monica, and Vicky, part of the MAFRE team. John, with all the MPA team, Prado Belén, with the Carlson team. And also a second part, which was Alberto Olga, Jaime Paloma from MAFRE. Without all of them, we couldn't have had the joy of this uh, conference. They're a great team. Please, round of applause for them. Next, I would like to read the official conclusion of this uh, 26th conference after these uh, days with so many interventions. With regard to the insurance block, I would like to highlight the, ins the international reinsurance market. They highlight the importance of new stakeholders as uh, capacity providers. However, we are still very relevant as uh, traditional uh, service providers because they have a lot of know-how and uh, they know the regulatory framework and uh, barriers. With regard to the Brazilian uh, market, we highlighted what were the big challenges in order for the development of this market. The insurance market, they know how important this uh, momentum is in order to uh, make the most of the several opportunities and also to add value for the growth of um, the market in this sector. The quality of the service when handling claims, it has to be uh, measured by the fulfillment of the coverage and the timelines. It is essential to have an adequate management of expectations, great transparency, communication, coordination, and trust among the different parties. Even before the uh, loss happens, before, uh, so that we can avoid some type of uncomfortable situations. In the LATAM market, the risk handler is more and more important in order to find good solutions because they need to know the technical risk uh, management. They need to know uh, what are the different knowledges at international level and to make more efficient management. That is, they need to be a good partner to help them in the growth of each company. The period of soft market when talking about insurance and reinsurance has ended, even though we can still not say that in the mid and long term this will be the same and that it will affect all uh, stakeholders at the same time. Ten year, over 10 years ago in Spain we had economic crisis and that had an important impact in the insurance uh, sector and we have uh, pr demonstrated that we are very solid and we are in advantage now. With regard to the security and safety panel and drones and the massive learning, we have revolutionized the risk engineering. They have uh, assessment in minimum time and they are more efficient and that helps engineers themselves. Amidst this um, revolution of um, different technologies, uh, man-made decisions are still important and we can we can extrapolate the knowledge to the different uh, fields of work. The uh, Unidad Militar de Emergencias, the Emergency Division Unit, they work uh, with forest fires, uh, natural catastrophes, and catastrophes, sorry, and uh, some type of um, terrorist abilities. And they are a reference point at national and international level in order to develop similar units abroad. The success stories when discussing operational uh, risk measures, they have demonstrated that we can reduce uh, the consequences of such. The impetus of the managers is indispensable.
The potential of blockchain technology offers us a future that is filled with opportunities for the insurance company, especially for the risk sector, this change of information in a safely, swift and transparent way through an open uh, infrastructure that is also flexible will also allow us to understand risk in a better way. The evolution of the energy paradigm goes through decarbonification, the diversification of the portfolio and the digitalization of networks that will allow for the system to be sustainable and to optimize the resources and the economic usefulness. This um, means many challenges when uh, covering um, and uh, being safe from attacks and also emerging economies and technologies. To end uh, my speech, I would like to say that uh, we have big infrastructures that have a social impact. They transcend econom domestic economies and we need to adequately manage risks. And this is a critical stage. Constructing industries in Spain, they have already demonstrated their capability in order to build this type of infrastructures all over the world. I would like to conclude here the uh, conclusions um, of the 26 International um, Conference on Global Risk. Mafre. Next, we will give the International Award for the Excellency on Risk Management. We are at a perfect framework of uh, Salamanca. We would like to give visibility and recognition to the best policies and practices for the management, prevention, and prove protection of risks. I do not want to bore you with my words, so I would like to show you a video where you can watch and share what is the rationality of the way we work in order to choose the company that will be awarded with this uh, recognition. In order to know who is the winner, I would like to ask uh, the president of the um, of the board of uh, Mafre Global to come with me to the stage. And the winner is of the first international um, award for the best policies and best culture in order to prevent and manage risk is Rio Hotels and Resorts. The award will be received by José Suárez, who is the director of the group.
A very good morning to you all. Thank you very much. On behalf of Rio Dels, it is a real honor for us because here I, I'm on behalf of Rio Dels and I would like to thank them all. Um, the mayor of Salamanca, the um, president of MAPFRE. This is the result of the effort and the work of an organization that I am really honored to represent today. And especially, I would like to say this is thanks to the direct implication of the Rio family in the risk management. Around 20 years ago, our uh, CEO, they, uh, Carmen, and Carmen, sorry, they uh, decided to have this uh, risk management department. We report to them. Um, we are three people working in this department. We have 95 hotels in 20 countries. And at present, we directly report to Adrian Trian, who is member of the um, of Rio de Hotels, and he's a member of the fourth generation of this Rio family. Yesterday, we said that we tend not to tell our kids what we work on so that we do not need to explain a lot. My kids are already grown up, and many years ago, when since many years ago, when I go to work, they tell me, good luck. So a few years ago, I start, started to think that maybe I should reduce that percentage of sheer luck in my activity. And for that, MAFRE has been an essential partner. It has a good support so that we are not at the mercy of sheer luck, but rather in the hands of good professionals that really help us to achieve our best interest. Thank you. Next, we give the floor to Ms. Purificación Galindo, who is uh, the uh, Vice Rector for Postdoctorate Programs. Good morning, almost good afternoon to you all. I am here on behalf of the Rector, Mr. Ricardo Rivero, and on his name and on my own behalf, I would like to thank you for having chosen Salamanca as uh, the place to hold this uh, 26th International Conference on MAFRE Global Risks. Also, I would like to thank you for having taken the university as part of this event. As it couldn't be in any other way, we are thrilled to cooperate with the organizers of this event so that the 400 or 500 risk managers and specialists in this sector coming from more than 20 countries, they uh, were able to enjoy our facilities and also to feel very welcome and so that they uh, felt um, warm and welcome. I am thrilled that at the same time we have been uh, given the Social Council Award because you deserve it more than anybody else. And we're very happy for you. We also know that the president, Mr. Antonio Huertas, is an alumni for the University of Salamanca. That's not just anything. That is really lucky, lucky for us, because um, he's an alumni, as I said. And the fact that he wanted to come back to the university makes me think that at least he had good results and he really liked it here. So it's a real privilege to have alumni like himself. I would like to thank on behalf of the rector, the presence of the mayor of Salamanca, because the University of Salamanca is an essential part of the city. And I believe that the city is also the university. That is the message that we created very recently, and it's a real message, we are both intertwined. I believe that one without the other would not be the way that they are now. I also like to know that we have Ibero-American experts from different countries uh, that we've already mentioned. Here, the university, we could not have post-graduate uh, um, 
courses and we would not have the success that we have in this field without Latin American and Ibero-American students. They represent between 70 and 80 percent of our uh, postgraduate students, especially for postdoc and doc student. We have um, 40 doctorate uh, programs, over 70 um, masters and many uh, of our expert titles. There are many of them linked to uh, risk management and big data. You've already mentioned machine learning, which could be part of that big data. We do a lot of machine learning, data mining, and we have really good uh, teams of mathematicians, statisticians, and uh, IT experts. And I believe that we cannot face the risk without the cooperation of specialists who work with models and probabilities, because risk is not the problem. We are living among a constant risk of all kinds. But what is important and dangerous is not controlling that risk, but you do that very well. So I think it's important that you know that at the University of Salamanca, besides the huge history that is very colorful and beautiful, we have many experts that are dealing with these type of topics. So hopefully we can see you in the future. Hopefully, maybe those people who cooperate with you, they could be alumni that we can train. I really hope that you've had very fruitful uh, few days of conference, and I hope that you take Salamanca in your retina and in your pictures. Never forget Salamanca, because we have been very happy to host you here.